So today my mom had some guy named Scott come over to help rearrange the garage. He was possibly wearing a wire because he said, I heard him say, it's Reverend Fernando. A possible setup, theorized obviously with my intuition and my reflecting on the situation. There was a whole bunch of bikers out there in front of the neighbor's house. And I heard him cough, but I thought it was like the Dilt's house with them coughing and stuff. But, um... And then I and then I walked out to the street or walked out to the driveway and I seen them all chilling right there and then they left. And like I said, I had prophetic dreams of bikers stalking me, trying to set me up and take my life, all types of shit. Right. So that could be a possible confirmation and a timeline change. Um, then the guy started talking about robbing stores, which I had a theory of people setting me up by the store, especially by Ken on Conjure. Uh, when I was live streaming that day. But anyways, um, it could be a possible false witness. But I had told him about my satellite phone connecting the satellite known pinpointing my exact location wherever I am. And so it would be stupid to try to set me up while Apple and the FBI can and the police can get my exact location anytime I leave my house. You know what I mean? It would be retarded. But possible false witnesses, possible attack on my life. And I had also had a dream that the bikers were forcing my mom to set me up uh, the other day, documented online, right? So this is another possibility. Um, possible false witnesses, possible false statements, and possible organized crime, especially when a one percent again. And I had my, I had my mom, I heard my mom talking to herself about Hell's Angels. Um, I know the Gypsy Jokers are around here too as well. I don't have beef with none of them. If they want to speak with me. You know what I mean? I'm Reverend Fernando. You can hit me up in the DMs and we can have a civil conversation. No beef. You know what I mean? Um, because maybe there's a misunderstanding. Maybe there's something that that was misinformation spread. Maybe there's um, something, a payoff or something like that. Um, crypto, cryptocurrency, cash app, PayPal, PayPal apps, exchanges, or even a murder setup, which I've dreamt of being set up for murders for like for like five years. Uh, multiple times documented i've also documented um i also had a vision of the blade that my mom gave me i mean that my sister gave me um before i received it the day i received it i sent it to a devotee and be like look what my sister got me and i posted it so they know when i got it um and then that dude was mentioning knives so just a couple things i'm putting together and he said something about robbing a store. And the other day when I went to the Circle K, the black dude was on the phone looking suspicious and the people were looking at me. And I used my phone to pay pay for my cigarettes and my things. And that's when I thought they were setting me up too. But the street lights are there, street cameras. My phone was with me, satellite. You know what I mean? My phone's been with me. So anywhere I've been, my phone documents satellite location, exact location, and goes to Apple. So... It would be stupid to set me up and, you know, you guys already know I'm not that retarded. Why would I put my location out <laughs> for my exact location and then go go try to do something stupid? Like, you know what I mean? Um, but anyways, uh, dreams of the bikers forcing my mom to do stuff. Dreams of the, um, the uh, this, is, this is my theoretical things, you know what I mean? I mean, if anyone wants to hit me up, you know what I mean, DM me, we can have a conversation. Any beef coming out of it, that's your stupidity because I'm not, I'm coming respectful. Um, there was a lot of theories that I put out there and a lot of dreams that correlate with bikers and setups and um, outsourcing cartels, outsourcing bikers, outsourcing other criminals, etc. cetera. Um, traveling bikers, traveling um, hitman, traveling, outsourcing, all that. All this is documented already. You know what I'm saying? But my location's always on satellite pinpointed directly exact location. So um it would be dumb to set me up, you know what I mean? But he could have been wearing a possible wire or like a Bluetooth, because he's like it's Reverend Fernando when he looked in my garage. And just because I do witchcraft doesn't mean I'm doing dark things. I opened a portal in my garage for death, which is holy death, to bring her presence here, and that's it. But then when I went in there today, I seen this little bucket with some mud or something in it. It looked like blood, kind of old blood or something. But it could have been like paint or some shit. And I seen it in front of him. I pulled it on. I was like, what the fuck is this? And then that guy was looking at the bikers. I didn't even, I didn't even know the bikers were there. 
I walk out to the driveway and look at them and they take off, right? Um, as soon as he said Reverend Fernando. Um, so yeah, he either said it out loud enough for them to hear or he said it Bluetooth or via via um, wire. Which either way, I don't care because I'm not doing nothing illegal, wrong or anything. And my mom left him here and I don't know the dude. And I don't associate with tweakers. I just needed his help to move out the stuff out the garage, which is all my mom's and sister's stuff, right? Um, all my stuff is in my room. Everything I own is in my room. The only thing that's in the garage over there is my weights and my treadmill, right? So that's it. So, um, and some boxes that I had ordered from Amazon and all that shit. I kept them all, right? Um, from the old house. But this is just documentation. Maybe it's a big misunderstanding, big mistake. You know what I mean? Because we can definitely put people away in prison. Federal time organized stocking. Already had a confirmation from uh, Santa Muerte devotees in California telling me about bikers, bikers stalking me. And I've already had a vision of a biker stalking me. And now they're coming to the location. Could be multiple organizations working in the, multiple MCs, collaborating along with cartel associations and other or organizations and gang member activity. Um, because it's usually the negative ones, right? The negative people that try to set up people, right? I have no criminal associations. Me, me, you know what I mean? Everyone's friendly to me on Facebook. You know what I mean? So the criminal associations are with the people that come around. You know what I mean? So that dude said he rides a bike. So he's obviously knows everybody in town, probably with criminal activity. So this is just a possibility and a theory. A theory. But if they need to hit me up on the DMs, we can we can chat. Like, you know what I mean? Just civil chat, bro. You know what I mean? Because any situation that happen around me, any people that come around me that I suspect, I'm going to put on video and put up out there, tag the FBI, tag the police, etc. So it's more better just to have a conversation. You know what I mean? Because if I see you, it's documented. You know what I mean?